Sometimes, when I was a kid, my dad would give me a gift whenever I would do something good. He told me that when you do a good deed, it'll never go unrewarded. And it didn't take me long to realize that the best rewards are the ones you never expect. I can't! <sighs> Percy, that is the third shot in a row that you have ruined. It's my allergy. Can't we do this somewhere else? Call me crazy, but I think we should shoot the pictorial for a gardening issue in a garden. I'll do better. I promise. There's got to be at least one plant in this place that I'm not allergic to. Good. Why don't you go and find it and, you know, maybe we can get some work done. seedlings has been lost in transit. Your scugs are looking for it now. No need to worry. There's plenty more where they came from. Some of my seedlings have been released. Well, that only means that the pollination of Crossworld City is beginning sooner than expected. <laughs> Get out! Forces of darkness, empower me! Take me back to my virtual reality! to your fortress, Master. The monster vines have accidentally been released already into the atmosphere. Yes, it seems that phase one of my plan has begun. Those seedlings are just the beginning. Soon my monster vines will be growing all over Crossworld City, squeezing the life out of it. And then? The vines will mutate into an army of warriors ready to do my bidding. Then everyone, even the VR troopers will come to me, begging for mercy. <laughs> Caitlin! <gasps> Percy, you ruined another shot. I finally found a plant that I'm not allergic to. Oh, Percy. That's poison ivy. Poison ivy? Yeah. As in... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, gee. This is not good. Okay, light that up. Come around behind me just a little bit. That's good. Uh... No. This is not good. Oh. <laughs> Percy, maybe you ought to call it a day. Uh, guys, uh, there. Hello? Come on, Percy.
Percy, don't you think you're overreacting just a little bit? Help! Help! Percy! Oh, no. Percy, are you okay? Oh, sure. I'm, I'm fine. I... I... Okay. You guys get him back to the newspaper office. Tell Woody we stumbled onto something really big here. What about you? Don't worry about me. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh. Ryan, JB, come in. What's up, Caitlin? Something really weird is happening at Crossworld City Park. You guys should get down here right away. We're on it. Meet us at the entrance in five minutes. You got it. So the next thing I knew, these vines were all over Percy like a boa constrictor. It happened so fast. Whoa, sounds pretty intense. They're right around this bend. What? This is impossible. They were here five minutes ago. Looks like your monster vines have moved on. Wait a minute. Plants that migrate? The troopers are getting a little too close. They mustn't be allowed to interfere. Don't worry, Master. I've sent along a little something to slow them down. <laughs> Good. Well, whatever was here before, it's gone now. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Where do you think it went? Well, this ought to be enough for Professor Hart's analyzer to work with. Great. Maybe we can figure out what this thing is before it strikes again. You guys, let's get to the lab. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, excuse us, ladies. Excuse us. Uh, we just want to get by. This could get rough. Bikes are parked right out front. Professor Hart should analyze this stuff right away. Guys, look! What? Our bikes! They're totally trashed! Who would do this kind of thing? Does this answer your question? The vines. But they're gone again. Listen, JB, don't worry. We'll deal with this. I'm just thinking. If the vines could do this to a couple of motorcycles, imagine what they could do to a human being. Hey, I don't want to find out. Look, why don't you two take Caitlin's car back to the lab and get that sample analyzed? I'll see what kind of information I can dig up around here. Okay, but be careful. You Let's got go. it. Shall be done as you wish. 
When my plants grow and mutate, they bear an evil fruit. And not even the VR troopers will be able to stop them. Get to work and no mistakes. My job is on the line. How long will it take, Professor? We might not have much time. Organic compounds break down easily. I'm getting the results already. What's the news? This is an extremely strong substance. It grows at an accelerated rate, unseen by me and any other plant in the universe. Sounds like trouble. We gotta stop this thing. For now, stop it. But if this plant's powers could be harnessed in the future, it could be a lifesaver. What do you mean? The professor is right. If we could grow corn and, and grains at this rate, the world's food shortage would be solved forever. Somehow I doubt that's Grimlord's plan. Program the computer to predict the visual life growth pattern of our vine sample. If the vine is growing as quickly as this sample indicates, much of Cross World City could be germinated already. We better check in with Ryan and see what he's found. Right. Okay, then take a look at this. The vines mutate into Grimlord's creatures. Remember, Ryan, you can use your mind to accomplish anything you want. Anything. Come on! We have to find out where that vine is right now. Well, we have the molecular structure. We can run a scan through Crossworld City and see if we get a matchup. It certainly is worth a try. This should yield a result within moments. There's more. And it's all over the city. I'm getting readings that those are seedlings, JB. Grimlord is using trucks to distribute the vines. Ryan, this is Caitlin. Come in. JB, I'm not getting any response from Ryan. We are the R! Okay, now let's see who puts the squeeze on who. Hey, Caitlin, this is Ryan. What's up? Ryan, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I was just a little tied up. Ryan, we've just learned that when these vines mature, they grow into mutant plant creatures. Grimlord is transporting these vine seedlings all over the city. JB and I are going to head the trucks off before it's too late. Two plant mutants have been spotted in the area. Vengebot is destroying a home in Sector L37, and Chlorophoid has been detected in Quadrant 42. All right, I'll take the trucks. Caitlin, you go after Chlorophoid. And I'll get Vengebot. Trooper transform! We are the arm! There's no sign of Chlorophoid anywhere. He must have moved on. Well, keep your eyes peeled. I'm gonna take care of these guys. Major last delivery, bucket heads. That's one down. Kids, hurry. Huh? Are you people all right? In there, some plant creatures tearing up the house. You're all mine, bed spot. 
closing in on number two. He's right in my sights. Huh? Are those plants moving, or, or am I going crazy? No, Trooper, you're not crazy. Doomed is what you are. We'll see about that. All right, bitch butt. Where are you? Right here. I got you. I think I've got you. <laughs> Man, not the indigo sector again. Come and get me. I'm right behind you. BR Nitro Cycle Command, now! Hey, Caitlin, check this out. Yeah, I see it, JV. We're gonna need some help. VR Caitlin, double team! We are VR! All right, JV, we're here. Great. Now, which one of you brought the weed whacker? Attack! Quickly! I've got to stop that other truck. You two hold them off. Got you! All right, fence bot. Where'd you go? It's time for some pruning. There. Now you're bonsai. They were ours. Might be the killing. The price of the kickstand would break you. Want to see the layout I shot at the gardens? Uh, maybe tomorrow, Caitlin. Yeah, after that last battle, I don't care if I ever see another plan again. It wasn't all bad. JB, you remember your idea about ending world hunger? Well, I called a biological foundation and they bought the vine sample for an experiment. Bought them? 
We can't accept money for something like that. They insisted on some form of payment. So I figured... They're yours, so where's my ride, fellas? No way! <laughs> Caitlin, you're kidding! They're ours? Yes! Awesome! Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> this is great! Oh, oh I like you. <laughs> Get on, JB! <laughs> Man, this feels good. Like Dad said, a good deed never goes unrewarded. It was great getting the bikes, but the real lesson he taught me is that doing good has its own rewards. No gift can match the feeling of knowing that you did your best to make the world a little better.